Hi guys, it's Monday today, day 20, and I thought that I was gonna have loads of time today to do loads of cooking and loads of stuff in the garden. I really wanna spend some time in my vegetable garden because it's been far too long, but I've taken the day away from the building site today because I had foraging on Sunday. Saturday is my daughter's birthday. There's so much paperwork I needed to catch up on. So I've been doing that all morning and it's got till one o'clock now in the afternoon before I've had a chance to do anything else. So I'm just stopping for lunch. I've still got a bit more paperwork to do, but I thought what I'd have for lunch is something inspired by our local, not local at all actually, a roving, a mobile fish and chip shop. So there's a fish and chip shop van that for a period during the first lockdown of COVID did tours around villages and it used to come and stop at our village here. And they used to do these tempura battered vegetables and they were delicious. So I'm gonna do sort of my take on them. I can't do a tempura batter, obviously, because I don't have any beer, but I can make a regular batter. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make some onion rings, finely sliced carrot, some finely sliced beetroot and some courgette. We're gonna slice them up, we're gonna batter them and we're basically going to cook them in fat. We're gonna cook them in our pork fat and I'm gonna serve that with some of my spicy ketchup and some sweet corn. So that's lunch. How about that? So we've got the homegrown sweet corn, obviously, the homegrown veg in the batter and the homemade ketchup. This is the spicy ketchup that I made the other day. Now I can completely accept that this might not be the healthiest way to eat a plate full of vegetables, but I can't think of much else I'd rather eat right now. It looks amazing. So let's try it. One of the pieces of beetroot. We'll try it in some of that sauce. That's really good. Courgette, I'm so happy with this. Carrot, and a little onion ring. That sauce really makes it. And like I said, I can't think of anything I'd prefer to eat right now than this. So that's a huge, huge win. <laughs> so much for my day off. <laughs> I've uh, just finished that lunch. That was absolutely fantastic. I'm really happy with it. And I received a text message and long story short, I've got to go in and fit a worktop, fit a kitchen worktop because it's come in and we've been waiting for it for a little while. It's there now. I've got time to quickly go and do it this afternoon, which is going to put less pressure on me the rest of the week. It's much better for me to get it out of the way. So it's my own choice, but it just makes sense. That's my afternoon off gone out the window. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you guys when I get back home, I suppose. Okay, so I've been and come back again from work gone out and milked the goats and uh, I've also put some potatoes in the oven because for tea I'm gonna have the last of that chicken was well, probably not the last of that chicken there's quite a bit left still but some of that chicken left over from that roast dinner some potato wedges and the leftover veg that I was using at lunchtime that veg I sliced up and battered I'm just going to basically roast that and uh, have it with gravy I've got some Gravy as well still from the last chicken dinner I had. So it's a pretty simple dinner for me to make tonight. Nice and simple, all just leftovers really, apart from the potatoes which are in the oven. And then if I've got time after that, I'm gonna hopefully make some pasta. So I've just had dinner, which was the leftover chicken, the leftover veg from lunchtime and some gravy. 
And obviously those potato wedges, that was awesome. I'm done for the day now, finished eating, it's six o'clock. And my daughter, very, very kindly, is going to help me make some pasta now. I'm not gonna be able to film it because she doesn't like being on the camera. We're gonna make some pasta together now. I will definitely make some more and I'll share the recipe with you guys. But like I say, won't film the actual making of this one. So I've been kneading it for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And apparently you know when it's done because it goes like glossy on the outside according to the Jamie Oliver recipe that we followed anyway. So we're just about done here. Next thing I'm gonna do is wrap this in cling film and put it in the fridge. And that's probably going to do me for the day. So I might, uh, I might get it out and roll it out a bit later, but equally I might not. Um, but I'm really happy that I've made the dough, the pasta dough. So I can roll this out for tomorrow's tea. So we're finally, I think, ready tomorrow evening to cook some crayfish. I found them in the freezer and uh, got our pasta dough ready. So I think tomorrow's tea, if all goes well, everything's always subject to change, is uh, some crayfish pasta. And uh, that's gonna be a real treat as well. So that's gonna wrap me up for today, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching as always, and I will speak to you all tomorrow. Cheers.